All right, let's go ahead and find the perimeter of rhombus A, B, C, D. Given that the diagonals of AC equals 24 centimeters and DB equals two cent 10 centimeters. Now we have the diameters, I mean the uh, diagonals, and as a result of having those diagonals, let's go ahead and draw those in. We've got diagonal of 24, and then we have a diagonal that is 10. Um, one thing that we do know about a rhombus and which is really important is that the diagonals will bisect each other. So this DB, which is 10 centimeters long, is going to get broke into two pieces, which is going to be five and five. And the diagonal of AC, which is 24, is going to also get bisected, which means that we are going to have 12 and 12. That is a property of parallelograms and diagonals. Now, one uh, specific property to the rhombus is that when the diagonals bisect each other, they form a 90 degree angle. And that is going to be super important in this um, problem because we are going to be finding the perimeter, which means that we need to know the outside uh, lengths of the rhombus. And one thing that we know about a rhombus is all of those sides are exactly the same. So if we can find one of those sides, we know all of those sides. So let's go ahead and get to it. We're going to look for X. What you should see and hopefully do see at this point is that there is a right triangle that is formed and we're going to be looking for the side of that right side triangle, which is X. And well, how do we find the hypotenuse of the side of a right triangle? We use the Pythagorean theorem. We use A squared plus B squared equals to C squared. And the A and B, we know are going to form that 90 degree angle. Um, for the right angle. So I'm going to go ahead and fill that in with the 5 and the 12. So I'm going to say 5 squared plus 12 squared equals to, um, equals to C squared there. So equals to X squared. And uh, if you look at the co color coordination, hopefully that'll help you out. Now let's go ahead and solve this thing. Um, at this point, I'm going to do 5 squared, which is 25. I'm going to take 12 squared, which is 144, and I'm going to set it equal to x squared. Now, one thing I can do, and if you need Desmos, go ahead and use it. We have 25 plus 144, which is 169 equals to x squared. Okay, and uh, we're going to take the square root. Uh, so let's go ahead and take the square root of 169. x comes out, square root of 169 is... 13. So that means that x is equal to 13. That also means that all of the sides are 13. And that is the perimeter is the total distance all the way around this rhombus. So I could just say, well, the perimeter is going to be equal to four times 13 and 4 times 13 is 52. The one thing we need to pay attention to is that all of our measurements are going to be in centimeters. So the perimeter is 52 centimeters. All right, y'all. I hope that helps you out with finding the perimeter of a rhombus with the diagonals.